Okay, this how-to video is going to describe how to how to place components or pins at specific coordinates using either a combination of the the command keyboard X and Y or IX and IY, or also the right mouse button snap pick two. And the right mouse button snap pick two was something that was introduced at uh, release 16.2. So when I'm kind of in placement application mode and I've got a component attached to my mouse. I can kind of got pin one of the connector, I can do a right mouse button, snap pick to, and I can pick any of these options to actually snap the component to a specific coordinate. So in this in, in instance, I'm going to use the intersection, and then the components gets based, based on that origin point. Same kind of scenario here, I've got a, a mounting hole, right mouse button, snap pick to intersection and very very quickly because a lot of people give this information via um, a DXF file or something through from an IDF file um, <coughs> we'll also move something like this rat T point onto a via so we can hover over this via and do a right mouse button snap pick to via and very very quickly you kind of get this function working but also when we're moving parts around we can just generally kind of pick a part up we've got the origin point there maybe I need to place this on a specific coordinate now um, you've obviously got the coordinate information here at the bottom of the screen but I can also type this in the command so I can actually type x space and if I want this to go to uh, a coordinate at, at 2000 space 2000 for example that then places u7 there um, I can do the same here so I can do x is 2000 but uh, let's do a 1500 in the y and you can actually use that function very very quickly to use that now if I need to, to move this again uh, let's actually go into the move command and we'll pick this device maybe I'll just need to move this by another 50 thou for example so I can actually just say move it ix 50 and then that would move the the device 50 thou across we'll move this one we'll do um, ix let's do 100 100 so we're actually going to move it in the x and the y and we can specifically use the coordinates to move the ix and iy this is also available when we're adding lines and shapes so I could start off with an add line let's start a line there and then so I want the line to go um, incrementally in the X for uh, 100 and I would get a 100 base line I could then do an incremental X 50 50 to get a 50 chamfer and that that command just gives you the, the general idea for, for entering keyboards to give you specific coordinates for components and adding lines and placement